Howdy y'all! Time has finally come. We get to build a junkyard for our way for our good buddy Duddy, Duddy's Adventure. First off, we gotta get this nasty old block cleaned up. Gotta get some cam bearings knocked out of it, chase some threads, get it clean and ready for some new parts. Alrighty guys, so Junkyard 408 build. We are going to be taking preventative measures of cleanliness for this project. However, there will be no excessive amounts of machining or, you know, downtime for that because, well, Duddy didn't uh, get it done in time. So here we are in my shop. I put together a few motors in here. Don't do it all the time, but I know what I'm doing, more or less. We're going to get freeze plugs out. We're going to get cam bearings out. Uh, we need to chase all our threads. And we're going to ball hone all the cylinders so that you know, piston rings will actually possibly seal. So we'll uh, just start with tear down here. We've got to get it clean. That's step one. Get everything tore down here. Get it in some degreaser. Get it to the pressure washer. All right, first step, let's knock out the freeze plugs. You'll have probably seen me do this before. It's uh, one of those things that you uh, don't want to knock it into the block like I just did. Daddy, I need some pliers. Oh, this one's not cooperating either. Yeah, that one went straight in the block also, that's good. Yep, same thing. Alright, we need some pliers. See if we can grab a hold of this little guy. They're not too bad. These were brass freeze plugs, however, you can already tell that the inside of this block was pretty crusty. And in theory, there we go. One, two. Yeah, it's a good thing we're doing this. This is it's pretty crusty in here. And three. Hmm, not too bad. So there you go. Freeze plugs. Step one. So as y'all can see, I'd say it was a good idea to go ahead and pull these core plugs and get all this sludge knocked out of this block. Because it's gross. Mmm. Same story on this side. Pretty disgusting. Not really sure what any of that is. And I'm gonna say it's probably better that it's not in the block. Make sure you get all your freeze plug holes nice and cleaned up. Alright y'all. Start on cam bearings here. First off, we need to knock out this very back freeze plug over here. Well, not really a freeze plug. It's uh, keep the oil in the engine plug and camshaft bearing removal access. Now uh, we're gonna just drive her on out. A big long socket and extension. Like that. Alrighty guys, starting with camshaft bearings over here. Got fancy dancy tool here as usual and uh, to do these you're going to be pushing them out um, so you start with the back one first smallest one we got our smallest adapter there get this little guy slid right in and once you get it towards the end there tighten up on the adjuster it expands the collar and we want it uh, just big enough to grab that cam bearing. That looks pretty close. Hold your cone tool there and give her some wax. Yahtzee. 
So, we only have four more to go there. Same process, y'all. Um, I'll just quickly show you guys. There is several adapters. Uh, five of these little guys right here. One for each uh, larger size camber. All right, there's one there. And we got two down here, right next to where the camshaft would be. And hard to see, but in this larger hole, there is actually uh, another core plug right in there on the uh, lifter gallery. So make sure you get all those out, scrub them clean, and don't forget to put that hiding one in there back because uh, oil pressure to lead is not what we're going for. Now that you've got your oil gallery plugs out in the back, you can run a long extension through the block and knock out those two plugs on the front of the block. Long extension. Add that through. One. Two. All right. Got to get all the cruds off of this nasty deck surface. So our new head gaskets will seal nicely. Not really the best idea to use power tools here, y'all. Patience and a razor blade to start is kind of where I go first. So just uh, keep scraping until it's smooth. So once you're done with the razor scraping everything that's you know needing scraped. Um, no power tools guys, just some good red scotch bright, lots of elbow grease, you're not going to hurt it. And, you know, that's what it kind of looks like after being razored, still a little crusty. And after a little bit of elbow grease, get a pretty nice finish. Just uh, take your time and, you know, clean up when you're done. Alright guys, now that we've got all the deck surfaces cleaned up pretty well, it is a good time to go ahead and start honing cylinders. We're not going to show that in this video, we'll save it for the next. Right now, we're going to go ahead and chase out all our holes here on the entire block and it will be ready for some pressure washing and degreasing. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, uh, final step here before taking it out to the pressure washer. We're going to chase all these head bolt holes and clean them out real well because they're nasty. They are full of grease and debris from honing and cleaning up the surface of this head. So I'm just going to use regular old thread chase here. And we'll keep it clean in between holes. Oh, oh see. That one has some. That one had some chunks at the bottom. Definitely nasty. Oh yeah. See that guys? Nasty stuff. You want to get these nice and clean so that when you go to torque your head bolts, there's nothing keeping them from, you know, not showing the right torque pretty much. And a bunch of crap in the head bolt holes will do just that. So there you go. Clean your holes. Well guys. Welcome to the custom diesel-powered hot tank where it's 
definitely at least 105 degrees out here. Eric, clean this block. It's dirty. didn't go as planned. Alrighty, fresh out of the Texas diesel powered hot tank. And she has been coated with eh, pretty much a full can of WD. Rotated around, air dried. Currently she's just marinating in WD-40. But, you got a nice clean valley. Very nice, very nice. All the cam bearing holes are looking good. I did get all the way down through the galleys, both sides. And let's see how the inside of the block looks. Oh yeah, that's way better. This sucker had some chunk in it, guys. And uh, so yeah, I think that'll do. About ready for some bearings and a crankshaft. Alrighty y'all, that does it for prepping a block for assembly. It's been a long hot day, but we did manage to get everything cleaned, threads chased, got some cylinders honed, which I'll see in a separate video. Everything is coated in about one full can of WD-40. So ready to go back in sleeping bag for the night and we're gonna try and get a crankshaft in it tomorrow so if you're not already make sure you subscribe like and share we'll see you next time